what's up y'all it's me sydney and i'm back with another video and in today's video i will be showing you how i do my feed in braids yes my feed in braids on my tiny tiny hair my hair's so little i'm so sorry my hair being short but it's okay, though, because it's going to grow out. And I'm going to be long and luscious like I used to be. So the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to part my hair down the middle. I like to use jam on my hair to get the part pretty straight. But you see, my hair ain't nothing but a good four, five inches or whatever. So I got to use a mirror to look at my hair in the back. I can't just part my hair and know it's going to stay on the side that it need to stay on. Because I'm bald head. Well, I ain't going to say I'm bald headed. That's rude to the people who are probably bald headed. But one thing about it, my hair looking good because it's growing. It's really growing. And I wanted to try some feed and braids on my hair. I wanted my hair to look neat and different and cute. I'm tired of rocking this fro. I'm tired of rocking these wigs. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm using my mirror to part my hair into six braids. I do part my hair into six braids to the back, but I bust each braid down the middle. So I braid like six of them to the back. But when I do get ready to start braiding, I will break that one chunky braid down into two braids. So instead of me having six braids to the back, I'm going to have about 10 or 12. So, of course, you see me parting my sections off because if you can't do this by yourself, you might want to ask somebody for some help so that they can part the hair off for you and clip it off just so all your braids will make it to the back. But this is a style that's easy for summer. It's not no style that is too time consuming and it's cheap. I probably paid about $4.99 for this hair from the hair supply store and it came with three packs so i really only use like one and a half bundles of the braiding hair so if you don't have no money if you in between jobs and you're trying to save you don't really want to buy a wig you don't really want to go get your hair done this is a cheap and inexpensive style that you can have for the summer or maybe you got a baby girl and you don't want to take her to the braider and you want to learn how to braid her hair Go ahead and get you six six parts to the back, and you can start braiding your own hair. Okay. So what I do is I use my shiny jam, and I go down the part, and I make sure that I add the shiny jam to the part, and I kind of smooth it in so that the braids will look really neat. They won't look like three-day-old braids when I, I just finished them. So you want to put shiny jam down your part. Then you want to take your braid and start your braid. You start your braid a little bit and then you add the braiding hair to it. Braid down once more and then you pull that excess hair to the back. So if you need me to do it again, you braid a little bit. You get some braiding hair and you add the braiding hair to your pinch. You throw half of the braiding hair to the front. You braid it down and then you grab that hair that you threw to the front. You throw it to the back. And make sure you're adding more jam to your real hair so that it's not uh, frizzing up on you. It's really smooth and it's laying really neat. You want to make sure you add that jam. You want to add that product. So you won't have like no fish hooks or anything like that. So that's my first braid. I'm going to continue to braid the rest of my head. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys pretty much how it looks make sure you to comb your hair out to the end too because that'll help or you can use a blow dryer to blow dry your hair out really really straight don't do this style while your hair is curly so again you want to add the braiding hair throw a piece of it to the back braid one time yes braid one time and then you want to grab that piece of braiding hair and throw it to the back braid once more and then you're gonna braid once more grab another piece and put it into your pinch i say put it into your pinch because basically those are your two fingers and they're creating a pinch so you grab and you braid and then you grab that piece throw it to the back and this gives the illusion that it is your natural hair you know everybody's asking like oh my god how did you grow your hair overnight baby these is braids okay these is feet and braids okay this hair cost me four ninety nine. and make sure to get conicolon pre-stretched braiding hair because that way it won't have like 
blunt ends on the end you want to get connect line pre-stretched hair and if you're allergic to braiding hair you can get the antibacterial braiding hair that's a good braiding hair to buy when you are allergic to braiding hair you want to make sure that you're getting hair that is beneficial for your lifestyle because you'll break out if you have a braiding hair that is not good for your skin or your scalp because your scalp can itch from braiding hair as well so i'm three braids in my arms are getting tired can you see it in my face and i'm going to turn around to the camera so you guys can see kind of what i'm doing I'm going to throw it into my pinch. That other piece is still forward. And then I'm going to grab it and bring it to the back. I really can't see what I'm doing, but I can feel what I'm doing because I do hair and I've been doing hair for a while. But like I said, this is something that you could do yourself. And it only costs you $4.99 unless you have to buy shiny jam and clips and combs and all of that good jazz. But if you already have all that stuff, then you actually are going to spend only four dollars and 99 cent how about that you won't have to spend 20 22 you won't have to call nobody book nobody you won't have to do any of that non-responsive you know people take your deposits don't pay you back all that kind of good jazz you don't have to deal with none of that you can just go to the house plus though get you some braided hair and braid your hair and if it's for your baby sit your baby down in your lap and braid your braid that baby the hair down and you ain't got to send her to nobody. She hollering and screaming. Just make sure to blow dry, shampoo, condition, and blow dry her hair straight. It, run a hot comb through it if it's still not pliable enough for you. Because that's going to help your braids to look really, really neat. Now, it took me about three hours to do this. Because my daughter was asleep. And then she woke up. She woke up and then she started coming in the room with me while I was braiding my hair. And I was like, baby, I got to braid my hair. I'm trying to finish. I'm not trying to be 4 o'clock in the morning braiding my hair. And then I got to go to work. All of that stuff. I need to be braiding my hair so I can not touch this hair for a week. I need to braid my hair every other week so my hair could be down my back. I'm sick of this baby ball hair. I'm sick of it. I'm telling you, I'm sick of it. I don't want to look up and my hair be by my ears no more. I want to look up and my hair be to the flow. <laughs> but I know that ain't gonna be where my hair can be. I know it ain't. Mm -mm. It's okay. But basically, what I'm doing now is I'm braiding my hair to the ends because I want it to be really, really neat. I want all my braids to be very consistent. Sometimes when you're braiding your hair, your braids can look very lumpy. You want to continue with the same motion all the way down. You don't want to stop. You don't want to add hair. You want to make sure that your braids are going to look neat and consistent all the way down to the end. So people will stop you and say, oh my God, who did your hair? You're going to be like me. I ain't have to wait on nobody. I ain't have to book nobody. I did my hair myself. And you could pat yourself on the back and say, I did it. And then you could come in and send me pictures of your hair after you do your hair. Let me know how it looks. Comment down below if this video is very, very helpful. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. I do have videos on wig installs and things like that. Comment down below what you would like to see next on my channel. I am a beauty guru. I do wigs. I do braids. I, make, I do style videos. Check me out on TikTok and Instagram at new jack sydney if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel because that helps me help you produce more content every single week so back to these braids i am gonna do some baby hairs once i get done but this is halfway what it looks like and my arms is burning at this point but you can't tell in my face because i'm just like okay i am ready to get done with this hairstyle by this time journey is woke up and she's in the room and she's playing with all the different stuff she's playing with all the different hair products finally down to this last braid oh my god my arms was burning by this time I had to lean up against the wall a few times. <laughs> I was so mad, but it's well worth it because my hair turned out really, really cute. And I got to show you guys how I did it on myself. And my hair is probably about three or four inches. So you see where my hair stopped at and I'm able to get braids. When your hair is really short, it's always best to do smaller braids so that you're able to 
wear them and they won't fuzz out. I did leave my edges out because I am going to do like some jumbo baby hairs in the front. And don't come for me about my baby hairs because guess what? I like them. Everybody like baby hairs. So don't come for me. I remember I did a video um with me with some faux locks and a girl was like, dress with baby hairs and i was like um excuse me this is my hair these these are my edges and if i want to do baby hairs with my um faux locks then that's my prerogative because they're gonna crawl out of the uh, it's it's gonna crawl out of the braids anyway so why not do some baby hairs and make it look really neat so what i like to use on my baby hairs is um Eco Styler Gel, or you can use hairspray. You can use um edge control, but my favorite thing to use is a uh, wig grip gel. Wig grip gel is made by um who are they made by? It's made by a company that's green. I'm trying to think of what's the name of the uh wig grip gel that I have, but I think it's made by Olive Oil. I'm going to comment down below. Well, I'm going to actually put it in the description box what um this wig grip gel is made by. But it's probably made by olive oil or whatever. But make sure to um comment down below your favorite products that you like to use on your edges. And then that way I could try them out. Because I've been using Got To Be Glue Gel. I've been using a lot of different things. And right now I just like to use wig grip gel because i use it for my wigs and it's just laying around but if it's another product out there that'll work better for me i would definitely like to try it so comment down below your favorite thing you like to use on your edges so that i can try it out maybe do a review on it test it out things like that and please don't come for the way i swoop my baby hairs i have a cowlick on the left side so i just like to swoop my baby hairs the way that the cowlick grows and I do like to you know kind of go with the way the direction that my hair grows I like to make little swigglies and do all the ghetto stuff but don't get mad get glad just get you some edges boo boo ha, ha. Mm. but yeah this is how I swoop my doop 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 and I think it looks pretty cute I mean that baby hair was longer than the rest of my hair but at the same time you can't worry about that you know i shouldn't have left that much out but we gonna swoop it down today and it's gonna be cute i didn't dip my braids because the pre-stretched hair was pretty straight on the end so i really didn't go out my way to um re-dip my hair i just basically played around with my edges and was like boom i'm done it took me about three and a half hours to do this style and i'm satisfied with it hopefully this these braids will last me about two weeks if not oh well i just do them again i thought about taking one at a time down and redoing each one so i won't have to part my hair all over again but i know this style ain't gonna last that long before i know it i'm probably gonna put a wig on top of these braids and then still be having the braids right up under the wig but i appreciate you guys for watching this video if you have any questions comments or concerns you can leave them in the comment section make sure to follow me on instagram tiktok make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and if you like it you know give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys